In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Outlook 2013 to our email servers. First, you're going to want to open Outlook and then go to the File tab and go to Info, Account Settings, Account Settings. From here, you're going to want to go to the Email tab and then click on New in order to create a new account. We're going to want to manually set up our account rather than allow Outlook to automatically set it up. So just select manual setup or additional server types and then click next. On this next window, you're going to want to select pop or IMAP from the selectable options, then click next. On the account setup page, you're going to want to fill in some information. So for the your name field, simply type in your name. In the email address field, Type in the email address you're wanting to set up. Under server information, you have an option to select POP3 or IMAP as the account type. Our email servers support both types of protocols, so it's really up to you as to which one you wish to select. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be selecting IMAP. In the incoming mail server field, you're going to want to type IMAP dot your domain name if you've selected IMAP or POP dot your domain name if you've selected POP as the protocol. So since I've selected IMAP as the account type protocol, I'm going to be typing in IMAP dot my domain. For the outgoing mail server, you're going to want to type in SMTP dot your domain name. So since my domain in this example is example dot com, I'm going to be typing SMTP dot example dot com. For the logon information, it's not enough just to put the first part of the username. You're going to have to type in your full email address. So rather than just my name there, I'm going to put in my full email address, which will include my domain name. For the password, type in the password you selected uh, when you created the account on our servers. Before clicking next, you're going to want to modify a few more settings. So click on the More Settings button. From here, you're going to want to click on the Outgoing Server tab and tick the box that says My Outgoing Server SMTP Requires Authentication. The radio button which says Use Same Settings as My Incoming Mail Server should also be selected. Next, you're going to want to click on the Advanced tab. On the Advanced tab, there's a few settings which you can modify. Since in this example, I'm connecting to the incoming mail server via IMAP, port 143 has been pre-selected. If I had chosen POP, port 110 would have been pre-selected as well. If I choose to connect to the incoming server via SSL, the port number will automatically change. For example, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be connecting to the incoming IMAP server via SSL. You'll notice that the port number will change when I select SSL. For the outgoing mail server settings, if you wish to connect to the SMTP server via an unencrypted connection, you're going to want to use port 587. If, however, you wish to connect to the SMTP server via an encrypted SSL connection, you're going to want to use port 465. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be connecting via SSL and using port 465. Once I've set all my settings, I'm going to click OK and then click Next. Outlook 2013 automatically will try to connect to the incoming and outgoing mail servers and will try to send you a test email. If you're trying to connect to the server via SSL, you may get a warning message saying that the server you're connecting to is using a security certificate that cannot be verified. This will only occur if you're trying to connect to the server via SSL while using your domain name, as in imap.yourdomain or pop.yourdomain or smtp.yourdomain. For an explanation on why this occurs, see the relevant support article. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to click on Yes, connect to the server anyway. I might get another security warning. Uh, this is for the SMTP server. So again, if you're interested to know why this occurs, see the relevant support article on our website. For the purpose of this video tutorial, you can simply click on Yes and continue. You'll see here that Outlook 2013 will try to connect to the incoming mail server as well as send an email via the outgoing mail server. If both tests are successful, you'll get two green ticks. 
If one or both of them fail, you'll get a red X rather than a green tick. Because both tests were successful, this shows that the settings I entered in were correct and I can now start using my email account. Now if I ever have to modify the settings of the email account I've already created, all I need to do is go back to File, click on Info, click on Account Settings, Account Settings, select the email address I want to modify and click on Change. From here I'll be able to modify any settings I need to to fix up any mistakes I made while setting up the account. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.